All right, the next thing we want to do is um, add in a uh, another void in place family and uh, cut the geometry from here. So we're just going to create this uh, the shape inside of here and we're going to remove it and cut it away from from the wall. So uh, let's do this from a south elevation. I want to switch over here to be hidden line if I'm not already um, and zoom in a little bit. So we'll start by creating an in-place family and we'll say uh, component and we'll go model in place and we'll use the wall category. Hit OK. Give it a name. And we're going to create a void extrusion. And if it doesn't prompt us to pick a plane, we should make sure that we want to make this our work plane. So if it doesn't prompt us, you might want to pick set and then do this exactly what I'm about to do here. Pick. Now I'm on that work plane. So now I want to create that kind of shape that I have up there and I probably uh, will do it and then mirror it. So I, I'm going to just zoom in here and eyeball this and it goes up like this and then it comes across somewhere and I'm just going to start again, hit escape just to kind of get that midpoint and then I'm going to go back and draw another line here. Now I'm just going to nudge this stuff over. I'm just basically working with the geometry and I believe the arc comes down and then over so I think this sits down like this a little bit. Okay, I'm going to use the pick option and just pick this escape escape and then I, I'm going to take this and using my shift option I'm just going to kind of bring that down a little bit maybe up and then use my trim trim these two guys off, escape, escape, take this, bring it up like that. Let me see how this shape is. I just want to go over here so it goes up. Oh, it goes in a little bit. Okay. So then the line, we need another line so we can pick on here. Just start that, comes across, and then we can take this and move it from there down to there somewhere and then we can do our trim basically just trying to get that geometry okay take this guy bring it up do a little split right there escape escape get rid of this guy get rid of this guy oh I don't think that was quite trimmed trim this up make sure it's in the middle just a graphic problem click on here delete it so I can fine-tune the shape of this if I want, you know, move this over a little bit, nudge this. So I'm just nudging, etc. Okay, once I'm done, I grab all this and I say mirror and I'll just pick the door axis, click, over it goes. Now I believe there's a circle in the middle here somewhere, like this, escape, escape. Now I think what I'm going to do is grab these guys and move them up nudge 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 not too high take this guy and change that radius to be five inches make it a little bigger something like that a little bit long-winded now before we hit our finish we want to look over here and I'm gonna leave that same minus three inches thinking it's gonna go in but I believe it actually ends up coming out let's finish it from a 3d view over here this is where we've been drawing and we can say finish and it did come out. It's a void, but it's going the wrong way. So before we close off the family, we're still in the editor, I can simply go into here and change this to be three inches and it'll go the other way. Okay. And now I do my cut, finally. Cut. Okay. The wall. There's the void. Finish. And there I have my uh, new cut void geometry around the surround of my door.